Hi, Dion. <laughs> oh, my lips are dry and crusty. This is your pandemic baby shower. No one could be with us, so we're gonna do it on Instagram Live. And we just wanted to capture it so you could see that even in a pandemic, you are loved. I hope you like your decorations. Oh. Hi. Hey! Oh, uh -huh. thanks, Mark. We're at the hospital. We've been here for a couple of hours. I actually don't know what time I was admitted. 136 because I'm oh I got a package. It's now 510. I'm not dilated. My cervix is not open. It's still closed. We needed to insert a Foley bulb, uh, which is not in. We have to try again later. I'm having contractions, but I'm not really feeling them. But you can like see them on my monitor. Baby's doing great. Dion's fine. He does not like any of these people's monitors. He kicks them. <laughs> No matter where they put them, he wants them off. Uh, how are you feeling, Dad? Oh, man. I got a little ass bed. <laughs> Other than that, I feel great. Mm. We're ready to meet you, Dion. Here's a quick tour of our room. I'm not getting up. Um, so, they got stuff right there. Um, this little fridge where we have our snacks. It's behind Dion's thing. Um, the bathroom is right there with the tub. But this is pretty much it. This is Doug's bed. But we're ready to have this baby. We're ready to meet our son. This is what happens when shit starts to go down. You bring two different sweaters. <laughs> Nike. Adidas. <laughs> shit. And I, I've used two things from my Frida mom labor and delivery kit. I have the gown on and I have the hospital socks. Um, it was definitely a great idea to purchase these things. I'm gonna just say that right now. Having them has been clutch. Because I can already tell I'm gonna use, if not everything, like most of the things that came in the kit. Um, yeah, things are happening, so we'll check in later. And we're back. So it is 10.21. And I am having contractions. I'm starting to feel them a little more. <sighs> Pretty much what's going on is since I'm being induced, I didn't go into labor on my own. They've given me, excuse me, some misoprostol to help soften, soften my cervix. And then they're going to do what's called a Foley bulb to help me dilate. So it's like... A balloon that pretty much gets inserted into the cervix and then pumped up to help start that and we tried once it wasn't that great it, uh, my cervix is just really tight really closed so I'm on like my third dose of misoprostol and then I think in like maybe an hour and a half or so they'll try the bulb again to kind of get my cervix to open up um, and then I'm hoping that once that's in, things will start moving faster, or just moving. Um, I can't say things aren't moving because before, like a couple of hours ago, I was having contractions and the only way I knew I was having them was by looking at my chart and the nurse telling me, oh, you're having a contraction. Like I couldn't feel any of my contractions, but now I'm starting to feel them. They're not... Oh. I'm having another one, but also your son is like kicking me as I'm having a contraction. He's so rude. Dion is so rude. Uh, they're not super intense to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't take this pain. But I'm definitely feeling them now. Like I, I, I don't need to look to know when when I'm having a contraction because I can feel them. So that's progression to me. Ah. Uh. Oh, my tailbone, tailbone hurts so bad. It looks like we're getting yeah. someone. Hi. Hey, just checking in. How are you doing? Good. Good. I do have to go to the bathroom though, so oh, this is yeah. perfect timing. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> 
the next time I'm gonna be able to eat is 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we do have like snacky stuff here. I'll get you some trail mix. Um, hey, so checking back in. We got the Foley bulb installed in my cervix, which is so good. I'm, I'm just happy. That's like progress, so that's nice. I really like the team that I have. I like my team from earlier, my night team. It's good. It's nice when you like your doctors. I hear all these like horrible stories like I definitely watched a bunch of YouTube videos about birth and labor and delivery and everything. Um, and you hear horror stories like doctors ignored them and they just didn't like their doctors and I can say 1000% that all the doctors I've had during this whole experience have been pretty great. I, no one's made me feel like crap. Starting to feel my second dose of fentanyl, which they had to give me to do the Foley ball. It doesn't last very long, but it feels like, it definitely feels like if I had like three glasses of wine, maybe not three, like maybe two glasses of wine really fast. It does make me a little sleepy, so I'm gonna take a nap. Hey guys, oh, I hate the way this gel looks on camera and my hair. Anyway, moving on. It is 7.56 in the morning. I woke up maybe like 40 minutes ago. Pretty much still the same. I don't know if I'm dilated yet. They're gonna do a um, cervix exam soon to see. You can't see it, but it's the 20th. It's 10.06. And we're just waiting for a little baby to get here. Today's May 21st, and it's like 12.37. I'm not very dilated. I'm only like three centimeters. The contractions are gearing up. My face looks so fat. Dion is not here yet, but I'm hoping that today will be his birthday. I would love to get him outside of my body. I'm exhausted, but that is um, all I know right now. Anything you want to say, babe? I haven't seen outside for two days now. Oh my God. No fresh air, no exercise, just eating, sleeping, and that's it. So, yeah. Next time we turn this camera on, Something will be happening. Devony Black here with uh, Dion, and she's breastfeeding. Hi, yes. Dion. Say hi. It's your mama. I'm so happy you're here. We'll do this over when you're not on drugs, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> hi. How wonderful. Okay. That's it for now. We'll wait till you actually come uh. to here. <laughs> we have a baby. Everybody meet Dion. We're doing some skin to skin because he's not feeling too well. But here he is. Hi everybody. It is Friday, May 22nd at 7.05 p.m. And I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm feeling um, contractions after birth. There's so much going on. I had a catheter in and we took it out and I just didn't know I had to pee. It was just a mess. But we've got a sleepy bunny back here. Look at him. A little baby. Put milk all over his face. We're all pretty tired, honestly, and I'm tired of the hospital. I want to go home, so I'm hopeful that um, Dion has a bunch of tests coming up tonight, I think. As long as those are all good. Oh, is it raining outside? Yeah, it's raining. As 
long as those are all good, then we can go home tomorrow evening. So I'm just hoping we can do that because we're all tired. I want to be home. We want to ah, be in our beds. Contraction or something. I, I didn't get any footage from Dion's birth um, because a lot happened basically and it happened very quickly like things escalated so I think I'm gonna save that for a separate video for like my birth story today I finally get to take a shower like a real shower so I'm probably gonna let you guys go we're gonna figure out our food situation I'm gonna stare at my baby because he's just so cute and I love him so much already and he's probably just gonna sleep because that is literally all he does he sleeps tries to eat Shits his diaper and gets it changed. Tired of cleaning up his shit. Huh? Tired of cleaning up his shit. <laughs> All his um, poop right now is the meconium, so it's just like dark, sticky. It's like tar. It's like baby tar. <laughs> um, and Doug is the only one changing it because, you know, I just can't really stand up and a lot's going on. <laughs> Doug is over it. He's over it. But I'd rather this than the poop that I know that's coming. Cause that's going to be stinking. He, that's the blowouts. Like we only get the meconium poops for a couple days. <laughs> All right. This video is getting long. So bye guys. Hi everybody. Today is Sunday the 24th, 9.07 AM. And we are getting discharged today with our little baby. I feel a lot better today. I'm not even going to lie to you. I feel good because I'm on medications. Today and yesterday, pains have been a little rough, but we're gonna get through it. I'm happy to be going home today. We have a lot of stuff to like pack up and stuff, but I'm excited. I'm walking around. Um, I still have a belly, so this is a couple hours postpartum. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my birth vlog. It's very late. <laughs> my son is two years old now. Um, I had all this footage and I recorded it because I wanted to be able to look back at it and have this moment as a memory. And I don't want it to just sit on these memory cards or just disappear, accidentally get deleted without me putting it somewhere that my son can hopefully revisit it. Hopefully YouTube will be around for a time <laughs> and he can watch this. So I put this video out knowing that it was late. Um, there was just no real ending to it. And I just never picked the camera back up once we left the hospital. So I just wanted to come back and just kind of wrap it up that if you followed me on Instagram, you would have seen a little bit of my journey into motherhood. But that's where I put all the stuff now about motherhood i just wanted to create this video so that it could live out here in the world to be seen by me by my son by my family by whoever wanted a tiny glimpse into the experience we had bringing dion into this world so thank you so much for watching please stay subscribed <laughs> tell your friends to subscribe share this video like it comment i do have to film my birth story at some point because it is pretty intense so if you do want to hear about that experience let me know um, but yeah, I'm smiling because like, wow, look at my little baby that I brought into this world. So anyway, that's it for me. I will see you guys in another video, hopefully this week. Maybe. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.